I have discussed about the schemes which were which were implemented to bring changes in primary education. Now you will come to know about secondary education. Children, after independence, Education Minister Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad decided to bring about fundamental changes in the field of education. The University Education Commission was set up for this purpose. This commission recommended the appointment of a separate commission for secondary education. Accordingly, in 1952-53, the Mudalia Commission was appointed. At that time, the pattern of education consisted of 11 plus 4 years for the first degree or of 11 plus 1 plus 3 years. The Commission studied secondary education, the nature of curriculum, medium of instruction, teaching methodology and made certain recommendations. This Commission proposed the concept of higher secondary education. However, it was found difficult to implement it all over the country. So children, after independence, who was the education minister at that time? Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. He was the education minister. Set up University Education Commission in 1948. It recommended appointment of a separate commission for secondary education. The Mudalia Commission was appointed in 1952 to review the existing secondary education. The nature of the curriculum and medium of instruction and teaching methodology. In place of the existing 11 plus 4 or 11 plus 1 plus 3 pattern, the Commission recommended the concept of higher education secondary. However, the same could not be implemented all over the country. The next one that is the Kothari Commission. Achha, children, here I want to tell you that the Maharashtra State Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education was established on 1st of January 1966 at Pune. This board conducts the school leaving examination of standard 10 and standard 12. The board also publishes a periodical called that is Section Shankraman. So children, the Maharashtra State Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education it was established on 1st January 1966 at Pune. The Kothari Commission in 1964, a commission was appointed after the chairmanship, sorry, under the chairmanship of Dr. D.S. Kothari, Dr. J.P. Naik, made valuable contributions to the work of this commission. The commission also recommended the 10 plus 2 plus 3 pattern 
for secondary, higher secondary and university education. This system was implemented from 1972. The commission also suggested a uniform national system of education. The inclusion of the mother tongue, Hindi and English in education as well as continuing education, adult education, education by correspondence and open universities to make education trickle down to the lowest rungs of society. It also recommended increased provision in the government budget for expenditure on education of neglected sections like the scheduled caste and tribes. Maharashtra government adopted the 10 plus 2 plus 3 pattern in 1972 and conducted the first standard 10th board examination in 1975. So children, another commission it was implemented. The name of the commission was the Kothari Commission. The Kothari Commission was appointed in 1964. It recommended the 10 plus 2 plus 3 pattern for secondary, high secondary and university education. This system was implemented from 1972. The other recommendation include a uniform national system of education, the inclusion of the mother tongue, Hindi and English in education as well as continuing education, adult education, education by correspondence and open universities to make education trickle down to make lowest rungs of society. Children, it also recommended increased provision in the government's budget for expenditure and education of neglected sections like the scheduled caste and tribes. Maharashtra government adopted the 10 plus 2 plus 3 pattern in 1962, sorry, 72 and conducted the first standard 10th board examination in 1975. Children, here on the screen, you can see the objectives of education according to the Kothari Commission. One is modernization of education. So next one, social and national integration. Nature of social, uh, moral, spiritual values education and productivity and the last one that is securing and strengthening of democracy. So children, these were the objectives of education according to the Kothari Commission. So children, today I have introduced the topic education in your history syllabus. In this topic mainly we, we will review the main stages and schemes in the development of educational system in India. We shall take into consideration primary, secondary as well as higher education and beside research institutes in some representative areas. And this will give us an idea of the educational system throughout the country. So children, also 
today i have discussed about the primary education primary education what is known as primary education primary education refers to the schooling give to the children in the age of 6 to 14 years that is known as primary education i have told you about two schemes one was operation blackboard and another was the district primary education program in operation blackboard you have come to know that this scheme improved the standard of schools and to fulfill minimum educational needs such as at least two proper classrooms toilets one of the two teachers should be a uh, female a blackboard maps laboratory apparatus uh, a small library a playground etc and this game help the primary education system to gain some momentum and then i have discussed about the district primary education program it was started with the objective of universalization of primary education and the plan uh mean the objective was 100% attendance in primary schools arresting student dropout education for girls and for the physically handicapped then i have discussed about secondary education secondary education first of all after independence who was the uh, our education minister maulana abul kalam azad and uh, the it was the university education commission it was set up then what was the work of the commission the commission studied secondary education the na- nature of curriculum medium of instruction teaching methodology and made certain responsibilities then i have told you about kothari commission in 1964 a commission was appointed under the chairmanship of dr d s kothari and dr j p nayak and it made valuable contribution to the work of this commission and also i have told you about the objectives of kothari commission modernization of education social of national integration nature of social moral and spiritual values education and productivity securing and strengthening of democracy all these were the objectives of the commission and maharashtra government also adopted the 10 plus 2 plus 3 pattern in 1972 and conducted the first standard strength exam in 1975 so children now it is your turn to read the textbook you should read the topic from the beginning in my next session i will discuss the higher education and also about the research institutes so children whatever today i have discussed you should go through it you should listen to the video and also you should read your textbook thank you have a nice day stay safe stay healthy